60 seriously wounded, ill, and injured sailors and Coast Guardmen are in Hawaii this week. They're competing for a spot in the Wounded Warrior Games. You might be surprised to learn that 80% of them suffered injuries while they were not deployed, including Airman Brett Parks. KITV Force Ashley Moser caught up with him training at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. I heard a man scream for help, and I ran out there. And and I saw the robber and I grabbed him and the robber had a gun in his sweatshirt pockets and he shot me. Airman Brett Park says he's lucky to be alive after a bullet shredded his kidney and severed a major artery, ultimately costing him his right leg. He spent four months in the hospital recovering. With a wife, son and daughter on the way, he knew he needed to fight. His proactive personality made the recovery process a positive one. With a new prosthetic leg, he took his first steps. After I started learning to trust that my leg was still there, and I had the, you know, the prosthetic that's going to catch me, and it's a part of me. Once I got that trust down, uh, you know, it's just uphill from, I mean, uh, downhill from there. But just being able to walk isn't enough. He tests himself, training for the Warrior Games. Organizers say his enthusiasm makes him a natural leader. He's always been incredibly positive, very motivated, and um, that's so important on a team like this because he serves as, as an example to people, you know, just starting the recovery journey. And although training is physically and mentally straining, Brett says it's an experience he encourages others to never walk out on. Never give up. Take one day at a time and, and set goals. Be prepared and never quit. Never, never quit. Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. So inspiring. Parks is competing in swimming and track and field events. He's hoping to secure a spot in the Warrior Games this summer. And you can cheer on all the participants at Iolani School and Ford Island this week. For a complete schedule, check out the As Seen On section of KITV.com or click on our mobile app.